Hey everyone, it's Shannon Rose with Topaz Labs here with another exciting top tip. Today I'm excited to cover our latest release, the AI Remix Adjustment for Topaz Studio. The whole idea of Remix is to be able to take art styles that inspire you and give you the ability to apply them directly to your photo. For today's example, we're going to use this photo of a young woman posed as Frida Kahlo. I found it only appropriate to use an image inspired by an artist for an adjustment created for the sole purpose of turning your photography into art. What better way to kick off such an awesome application than with an awesome artist? If you don't know much about Frida, let me give you a little bit of information before we begin. She's one of the first officially recognized female artists and a surrealist at that. She was often overshadowed by her husband for the beginning of her career, but soon flourished and pushed him out of the spotlight almost indefinitely. Y'all know I'm a painter by birth, so I had to take the opportunity to give you some fun facts along the way. Back to the top tip. Today I'll be showing you how you can create multiple and distinctly different images from one image by simply applying different options provided, playing with the opacity, applying different overlays, and or applying a mask to whatever areas you want to have more of the adjustment or less of the adjustment. I've got to say, as a painter, I'm pretty impressed with this adjustment. Remix includes 50 artistic styles and will include even more in the future. It allows you to add a painterly feel without all of the work. How many times have you looked at a photo and thought, wow, this would be an amazing painting? I have, literally millions of times, but sometimes it doesn't fit my style of painting. With this, I'm able to try out different styles until I find something along the lines of what I was thinking. As you can see, I've already opened this image and added a brightness contrast adjustment and a basic adjustment. Just because I felt the image was a little too dark to display the AI remix adjustments the way that I wanted to. To apply an adjustment, it's pretty simple. Just go to the style list, scroll down, and click on a thumbnail you'd like to see applied to your image. As you can see, there are multiple styles, many variations that you can apply, although sometimes these applications can seem a little bit harsh. The most simple fix is to play with the opacity. As you can see, it seems to adapt more easily to the shadows the more I bring the opacity down. The second way to have a bit more control over these styles is to play with the blend modes. I tend to lean toward overlay color and luminosity with this particular adjustment. Overlay tends to exaggerate the saturation, especially if there are a lot of bright colors present in the image or in that particular adjustment. Color attempts to adapt the adjustment's colors to the color of the photo and blend the two. While luminosity plays off of the highlights and the shadows and attempts to adapt the adjustment accordingly. Sometimes luminosity can even adapt the color to mimic your original image. It all kind of depends on your image and the colors present. But it can be a nice touch to apply to an adjustment that can make it less overbearing. The last aspect we're going to look at is masking. I tend to use this with particularly strong effects, especially on portraits if the effect is too strong on the skin or the face. When using the mask with these effects though, I don't really pick a white brush or a black brush. I tend to hover in the middle and create a brush with medium density. This way I don't lose all of the effect from the adjustment application. I can just lighten it a bit without losing the effect on the entire photo. So with this image, I'm going to go in and lighten the effect on the face and the arms. That way more of the original image and her natural skin shows through and she doesn't look so cartoony with the effect that we have applied. Congrats, y'all. You just survived the intro to AI Remix. That's it for this week's top tip. Join me next time to find out what you can learn.